everyone, it's Liam Carson here. It's time for another episode of Young Royals. It's time for us to delve into the second episode uh, after a very great introductory uh, introducing us uh, to this new world, to these uh, very fascinating characters, some that you just adore, some that you can just get in the bin. Um, but I'm looking forward to progressing um, with this show because it was a really, really great start for me and uh, I really enjoyed my time with the first episode. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what this episode can provide us with, especially after that little tease towards the end of the last episode um, bet uh, between Will and uh, Simon. It was just really, really um, wholesome stuff. So, yeah, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting more into this. So, with that said, episode two of Young Royals, let's go. Out there? Ooh. She maybe went down a little bit. Oh, wow. But how was it? It was... Okay, I guess. Mate! Nine out of ten. Uh, it was okay. It was like best time of my life. Wow. Villa. Jag vill minnas att du försvann igår från festen. What were you doing? I was just bored. That's what I would have gone with. Ska du på skräckningskvällen? Ja. Oh wow. Just, just... Wedged his way in there. Ta en trygg fan och lägger om det blir fläskigt. Vi ses på mattan sen. Should you rather snuggle up in his arms? Förstår inte. Han är inte värsta bitiden. Nu är det alltid någonting. Hej. Åh, jag känner så bad för henne. I mean, she tried to help her out at the party, and then she's it, she's just getting ghosted. Oh, he's gonna try and help him out. Wow. It's just difficult, isn't it? And I've been there, like I said. What's up? What's up? Rumor is the sport. Football is yeah, sport. Have you oh, seen yeah. the Olympics? I could even say football's performing arts with the way that some people over exaggerate their injuries. <laughs> He's thinking about him. He's thinking about him. Like how cute he is. Oh, goodness. I saw anything. Vi lär hur vi kanske måste jobba på sin fysik om man ska komma i rodlaget. Ja, visst. Eller hur? Why is he a problem? Why is he just so difficult? Fan, samma, har samma driv som du är med. Han är lite... Det är lat. På riktigt, Agus oh, skärp. Låg och sov när jag kom. Låg och sov. Ja, men han har inte haft det så lätt. Skolan är liksom hela hans liv. Kommer du inte ihåg att hans mamma skickade dit honom efter att hans pappa tog livet av sig? Oh, shit! Oh, man! Yeah. So there is a bit of sympathy for August's story, but I just wish that he wouldn't react like a an asshole to to yeah. Wow! Wow! But there's gonna get to a mo moment where he might forget, no, and then no. you know Simon's gonna have to have to put his foot down. Oh, oh shit! Medication? Oh sh. Okay. Yeah. I do like how we're peeling into you some vulnerabilities you, here. Det är viktigt för mig. Jag måste stoppa toppen nu. Men ta det lugnt, ta det lugnt. Gå till kuratorn, gör en egen utredning. Alltså, jag, jag, jag kan inte hålla den här. Assessment. Men jag blir inte så sussen. 
Du samarbetar? August, 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 vänta lite nu. Jag sa till dig att jag ställer gärna upp och gör en utredning med det, men det tar flera veckor. It's just a process, det, process, but it's, it's a bit of pain, yeah. Ja. It's var just, var just a bit impatient. Ja, oh. ja, du, den här klockan. Den har jag haft i 40 år. Går fortfarande. I'm impressive. Du tar hand om skolans freaks på det Fuck you, August. Yeah, fuck you. Rubs off. Sara är inget freak. Okej att hon har sina diagnoser och så, men hon är... Hon är fan den mest äkta här. Vad har du för diagnoser? Police taking a... Asperger som... Någon ADHD-grej. Shine to her. If you dare! Ooh! Challenge! Challenge! I fuck August. <laughs> oh. Kommer du att bara ta med dig i startfilen och sådär, liksom, mm. utan att ta med på träningen? Ja. ja. And I'm sure he doesn't want to let the team down in terms of illness and all of that. Alla liksom gör som har saker och alla känner alla. Så det är... Det låter ungefär som mitt liv. Hey, prison. Hey. That's it, though. Like someone's gonna surely talk to the point where it's so much that August is gonna find out. Like word is gonna go around far. In before he uploads that to Insta and all of that, and then August finds out. Shit hits the fan. Speciellt om de utnyttjar det för lite views. I had a feeling he'd find out. And of course he was gonna throw a fit. He can delete it from the internet, but he can always keep it in his heart and I guess on his phone. I'm trying to be sweet here, but <laughs> Oh, hello. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Vet du vad? 50 mg. Weird, man. No way. No. Oh, no way. No fucking way. It's like you, you're, you're yet to pay me back, and now you're trying to bargain with my sister. No way. No fucking way. I'll say I'm your doubler. Do you feel it? When you fix a pillar. Simon, don't, because he's not going to be able. To oh no. It's desperate for him. It's desperate for for August. Oh. This is it though. You can keep hyping him up, but it's gonna get to a point of frustration for Simon. I feel. Simon Little smile. Hello? Hi? I mean, we're making waves here, but in public as well? Holy shit! Oh. So much, like... Uh -uh. Guys, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Something's gonna just... Oh! <gasps> 
happy days, happy days, happy days. Oh, happy days. We got it. We got it rolling. Took us two episodes. That's all. That's all. I mean, the signs were there, like, in terms of the ending of episode one. And then it's just exploring that, isn't it, in terms of Will's case. Simon, I think, was already resigned to the idea of, of liking Will. But it's... Not something to like, like he he was trying to keep things in the wraps, like especially since he didn't know how how Will felt about him. But for Will, it was like there was that those there was those signs, wasn't there? In terms of like what what his head was saying, like with him scrolling through Insta with the way he was looking at him, and then it was just like ah, so ah, uh, man. Good stuff this episode. Got that kiss that was beautiful, nice stuff. Very scary. I, I feel like it was a obviously very scary leap for Will for for Will. Cause I cause there's gonna be that case where he hasn't liked a guy before. But he does with Simon and Yeah. It's and yeah, it's just so so I felt like this was really great stuff with, um, you know, peering further into certain character stories um, in this episode. Like, especially when it came to August as well, because um, there clearly seems to be certain difficulties that he is facing. Um, not just in terms of financial um, struggles and all of that, because um, he did struggle to pay um, Simon back. Do you mind? Um, and... Not just that, though, but he is um, seemingly struggling with um, the, I guess, ADHD medication. Um, now, whether he does have it or not, um, yeah, he, he is clearly struggling uh, in regards to trying to keep up in terms of the focus and all of that. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's... Yeah, it is um, difficult because I don't want to make presumptions that he doesn't have it. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised as well, given the fact that um, he wants to be on, you know, top of his uh, game and all of that. So, um, and, you know, he, he might want um, that extra little uh, boost. Um, so he might try to manif he might try to manufacture certain... Uh, factors like um, I might have ADHD, etc. So, you know, medication and all of that. That's uh, hence why he might be so desperate in terms of, um, you know, the diagnosis and all of that. Whereas um, in reality, it can take weeks to get a, an assessment and all of that. So uh, when the uh, doctor was talking about, well, we need to do this and do that, it, he did seem a bit rattled as if maybe, okay, well, I don't have... I, I don't think I have ADHD, but I need something to be on, on focus and all of that. So, um, yeah. And, and, and that's it though. He, he's willing, he, he might be willing to try to take shortcuts, hence the uh, medication in terms of getting more focus and all of that. So, yeah. Cause with, August story. There is a sad element there as well when it comes to obviously um, his father. There's a bit of backstory we went into in terms of August and uh, how um, there is that situation where um, he does seem to be trying to. Um, I don't know. He he does uh, seem to be um, tied to this sad backstory um, in order to, uh, and and that has kind of manifested this kind of um, I don't know controlling uh, personality and all of that. So yeah, but yeah, he does see he he does still seem to be. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me, uh, a, a huge problem, I would say, in regards to the way he reacts to, to Will, to Simon, the way that he is um, 
really sabotaging Simon as well by the fact that he's not able to pay him off. And, you know, that's putting Simon in, in, in the, um, it, well, it's pushing him close to hot water, should I say? Um, so yeah, but the fact that he was trying to use Sarah as well in terms of getting some medication. So yeah. So yeah, it, it is very, very, um, yeah, it is a very, very interesting element that we're peering into with, with August's character because whereas he's still unlikable, um, so much, I would say, um, it is very great to kind of get a bit of an idea about, you know, a bit of backstory in regards to his character and not just that though. Um, but, um, yeah, it, it's, it's just very interesting to see, you know, what he, he is, um, uh, what his character is all about, I would say, with, um, him trying to bend the rules in terms of uh, potentially manipulate the fact that he has ADHD um, when he does not. And, you know, he's he's trying to be on top of his game, like Simon is, but he's doing it more honestly. He's asking, you know, he's, he's not trying to potentially fabricate, um, um, you know, having ADHD or whatever. He just, he, he's asking uh, for that little bit of help. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I feel like the more time we get, uh, like after the, um, um, the, the, the session with the, uh, with the doctor, I feel like, um, you do get a bit of an understanding that he might have been manipulating the rules a bit because, uh, well, manipulating the facts that he, uh, did have ADHD. Um, because at first I was thinking, is this, uh, like, uh, does he have ADHD and all of that? But I don't think he does. I think he, like, especially when he was trying to, you know, resonate with Sarah and all of that. Um, I think it's just a, a thing that really pushes his focus and all of that. And he's just saying that he has ADHD so he can, you know, take a shortcut, get medication when he doesn't need medication. So... Yeah, but, you know, that's my two cents uh, there. So I think I, I, I think uh, the more the story... Because it was a, a surprise to see him taking pills and all of that. Um, but I guess, yeah. Uh, um, I think, like I said, the more time you um, spend after he did talk to that doctor about things and, and all of that and how he's, you know, using Sarah. Like, he, he did talk to Simon, like, oh, I'll pay you back, etc. And now he's using Sarah uh, as a, as a, as a um, benefit, really, for himself. Yeah. So, but... Still, massive dick. Uh, especially, you know, uh, t uh, like when he was, uh, like, especially with that pressure he has on Will, really. Uh, Will had to sneak out and all of that, but also just the way he's just um, being an asshole to him as well. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it was just really good to focus on, you know, further connectivities in this uh, episode, not just in terms of August's character, but also Felice as well, and Sarah's dynamic continuing to grow, especially with the um, whole horse um, situation, and yeah, I really, really did like the fact that uh, Sarah was trying to give some advice. She's struggling as well uh, in terms of, you know, connecting in general with um, her Asperger's and how she is um, trying to, um, you know, befriend people. Because there was that awkward moment when uh, I guess we first saw Sarah in this episode uh, where she was saying hi to Felix and then she just gave her the cold shoulder. It's like, well, yeah. Uh, and, and it was like, I guess the drunk scenario was just that and we're back to square one. But, um, you know, she was struggling and Sarah helped her out. So I am really liking to, uh, I am really liking seeing more of the bond between the, uh, the pair of them so you know it's all well and good and um, hopefully we get to see a bit more so um, in regards to their dynamics so awesome stuff um, 
but yeah, we uh, also, um, yeah, like I really liked as well, Simon, uh, Loki putting his foot down. There's, there's a lot of that pressure as well with how intimidating, I guess, August can be. But I really did like him putting his foot down in regards to, um, you know, him telling August, don't, don't talk to my sister, okay? Don't, don't try it, bud. Um, so, yeah. But the thing is, though, especially when it comes to August and how he, how he was hyping him up after, um, exercise. Yeah. And, and given Simon's nice demeanor... Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a struggle uh, in terms of, like, standing up to August and all of that, because August has such, the, like, has such power, um, really. Um, and, again, that might be down to, obviously, his parental situation in regards to what happened to his dad and his mom, and, yeah. Um, but still, there is there does seem to be, like, all eyes do seem to look towards August. Um, and, you know, with him hyping up Simon uh, and, and Simon's nice demeanor, like, it, it might be a bit of a challenge for him to stand up, like, especially if he wants to be demanding any kind of money. So August is, uh, and, and for August, he's not able to pay him back. So August is going to try and bribe him with, you know, notoriety and all of that because of, you know, his, I guess, social standing. Um, so, so, you know, I can't pay you back financially, but I can pay you back in terms of hyping you up, right? So, yeah. Um, and you do want Simon to stand up because he, because that's it though. He's going to be in hot water anyways. And the thing is, August might continue to use him and use him until he eventually does land in shit, like uh, actual hot water. So... Yeah. But, um, yeah, I really loved the, you know, dynamic between Will and Simon in this episode. Not just, of course, uh, towards the end, but there was that football game, of course, which I had a feeling um, Will would end up in shit from August after, he, uh, after you know, he told some white lies to, to August, rightfully so. Um, but, yeah, it was... Yeah, it was it was just really, really nice. No matter what, it was just a really, really nice moment. And you could see certain ways that August was looking at Simon. And, you, you know, they're, they're, again, like in the first episode, where he had to put on a forced smile, his first, I guess, natural smile came when he saw Simon. And you could see a lot of pressure come on, coming off his shoulders when he was looking at at Simon, um, you know, at certain bits and pieces in this episode. Not just that, though, but he was scrolling through his Insta, and he was just like, yeah. But, of course, um, with that iconic kiss, um, it's going to be great to follow the next episode, because, obviously, I feel like um, Will is... Try is he's going to try and figure himself out, because... Um, I feel like he's never had um, feelings for a guy before. And, you know, which is all well and good because I was in that position, um, you know, a long, long time ago where, you know, um, I thought I just liked uh, girls at one point. And then, you know, I had feelings for a guy. And then, yeah, it, uh, that, that really um, expanded the horizons, didn't it, a bit in terms of my sexuality. So... Uh, because, you know, it, it, it was genuine feelings. Like I couldn't stop thinking about, um, uh, that person that I kissed, uh, after, after we did kiss. Um, so, but prior to that, I, I just thought, okay, I, well, I like girls. That's it. And I wouldn't be surprised if, um, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, if Will was in that position where, okay, previously I thought I liked girls, but then Simon comes into my life and my heart, my world is just rocked for the better. And it's just like, okay, well, it's now time for him to figure things out, um, in terms of his feelings and all of that, because he does like him. It's just that he he might never have had this experience with another guy before, and um, yeah, uh, it's all it's all about that um, intriguing journey to uh, figure yourself out a bit. So, um, 
And that's going to be really, really great to see. I Like I said, I do worry in regards to, you know, how August's going to react, because I definitely do see him being problematic when, you know, he catches wind of this. So, but yeah, I mean, Simon, his feelings, uh, I feel like, I mean, he already uh, established his sexuality in the last episode. Um, uh, but his feelings are pretty clear in terms of what well, he has the hots for the prince, doesn't he? Um, but I feel like for for Will, uh, for, for Will it's going to be um, a journey of self-discovery because I feel like um, he might be on the boat where he thought he liked women before. Um, but suddenly he just has these feelings for Simon and he's never had feelings for a guy before and he's gonna you know figure himself out and you know I feel like it will only blossom from here onwards in terms of his feelings for um for, for Simon so and uh, you know what we're here for it so yeah um but yeah, pretty great episode. A nice continuation from episode one. Really liked this episode. And uh, yeah, good stuff. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time.